today I am sharing with you a vlog. We are taking down some trees in the backyard. It's already so much brighter. We have one tree down right behind me and then one in the very back. So I think seven total. We have 13 trees in our backyard, a ton of trees. These guys are cruising. <laughs> they are cutting them down so quick. Oh, it's wonderful. It's so open, wow. We'll have to put our fence back up though, right there still. <laughs> There's my hubby. So this corner is still very much the same uh, with the fence there. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave that portion of fence up. I don't know, just for a little privacy near our deck. But yeah, all this is gone. Um, we just trimmed up some trees too, but my garden in the back, that little square section there has light to it. That is so crazy. By this time of the day, it used to not. Um, the yard's a little torn up, but that's okay. We'll just reseed it. And as you can see, you can see all the traffic. Living in a small town, you get a lot of looky-loos, that is for sure. So yeah, that fence is still up right there. Um, Blaze's Aquaponics, which was right here. They moved the heavy rock part right over there because it is going to move. Um, and then the shed will be moved to that back corner. And then we'll have garden space and maybe put like a pear or plum tree extend this section of my like cottage style garden all the way around oh, I'm looking forward to that so much so next spring hopefully we'll bring some change with that so yeah anyways right now it's just kind of junky right there but anyways it'll go extend to the right there yeah and we'll move that garden shed or build a new one I don't know because it's it's got termite damage as well but yeah his aquaponics the heavy things removed, which was nice. So I'm halfway cleaned up right now. I've um, been working on that. As you can see, I didn't have people eat in here. I just would get too crowded. So I got a folding table and put in there. So I'm gonna move chairs back, wipe the floor. I think I'm gonna actually mop the floor, do my floor cleaning um, of how I do it. Because since there are no chairs in here, I might as well do that right now. And Mal Nevea is napping. So yeah, I get a little housework done as well today because I was expecting this day to take at least past supper time. So when it's 1.40 and people are already gone, that's really nice. Have time to do some things of housework. I have to diffuse some citrus fresh now, especially after having enchiladas, um, just to have that nice summery scent because it's 95 degrees out.
It is now Sunday. We've already gone to church, um, eaten lunch. I did not end up picking, uh, picking up the camera the rest of the day yesterday. So I just thought I would bring you along a little bit today with what we're gonna do. Show you some more of my garden update a little bit. That's, um, I like sharing it and then also I can take a look at it in the future and see what I was doing at this time on in my garden. I know some of you guys enjoy seeing that too. So um, yeah, we just ate leftover enchiladas for lunch. We have a birthday party to go to this afternoon too. Blaze has to go run sound for a funeral prayer service. So Sundays are our day of rest, yet it gets filled somehow that happens. So um, yeah, I'm wearing a thrifty dress, by the way. I love it. It has pockets. There we go, pockets with the tie. Um, it was $2. It'll be in my thrift haul on and rummage haul on Friday that I share. But I'm gonna show you some of my garden life activity that's happening. So this garden is doing well. We were gone on vacation for about a week last week and my grass that was right there, our dog ended up laying in and killing it. But this grass is so hardy that it'll fill in. Um, gotten a few cucumbers, which is amazing. This zucchini plant is doing pretty well. It had a few on there, so, and I'm okay not having a lot of zucchini, to be honest. So, and tomatoes, I've been picking a bunch of tomatoes. Last year, at this time of year, my tomatoes were still green, so it's really nice to have the tomatoes. I planted my rose bush right there, you guys. Finally planted it, like, two weeks ago. Um, it's doing well, because this, a lot of these things are just annual vegetables, so they won't be there, so then my rose bush will fill in. Now, this is the fun part because I'm so excited about this rock border just now going to be extending. It'll be next spring project, not this year, but extending all the way around there. So that'll be really fun and getting some of this junk, our backyard hidden junk. You know, everybody's got that in their yard. It's not so hidden anymore with people being able to see that but um yeah we'll probably maybe i should fill up the pool today for nevaeh because it's gonna be this whole week is gonna be almost 100 degrees this bush ah, it's not doing real well what was it the borealis honeyberry honey yeah honeyberry ah, it's just looking a little peaked but my hydrangea ended up taking off and getting more shoots this is just a stick, but um, yeah, it ended up getting more shoots after I trimmed it up. So super excited about that because I think it's going to grow really well. My carrots should be ready, so that's fun. Got to pick a few more tomatoes too. Okay, this back garden now gets full sun because we don't have all the trees. Potatoes, I can start digging some of those up. They're doing great. My sunflowers, they have a little bug in them, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try to save the sunflower heads and dry them out for next year to use. Yeah, my little random sunflowers. Tomatoes, got some in there. A few of them aren't doing so hot. I've been saving my marigold seeds too. Just sticking them in a baggie I should take. I just literally pop it right off the head and then let it dry inside and stick them in a baggie so I can plant them next year. I'm not a huge fan of the orange, but I'll plant them by my tomatoes next year too. There's another one. A few with all those pine cones because we had our pine trees there and oh my goodness nothing no damage to this garden really much my carrots maybe will come in better now too but it's looking a little peaked a little dry oh some of my pepper plants did get broke off but that was to be expected okay corn is drying out so it'll be really fun to decorate with in the fall this sunflower it all tipped over, and so now it's gonna be growing lengthwise like that. Isn't that just so cool? I find that pretty neat. Um, my broccoli, now that it's been cooler, let me show you that around here, is working now. It's actually, it's coming out to be a broccoli head, which is really fun, because uh, it's not so stinking hot. Well, except it will be this week. I tried to do a little trellis for these beans, but these are newer plant beans because I wanted a succession planting of beans, so I should be getting a crop pretty soon because they're blossoming. I'll have, oh, I can eat these greens too. I forget about that. These are more beets I planted. 
yeah it's a little weedy I kind of let the weeds go now this these little white pumpkins my shadows right there they're coming on everywhere I'm so excited about those my squash bugs did eat my orange pumpkins so I do not have my two big orange pumpkins but let's see if I can find a few more of my white pumpkins. Oh, yeah, see they're just popping on little places. Right there, here and there. So I picked, as you can see, like I said, some of these orange pumpkins. It has a little hole there, so this one will probably end up rotting sooner. And then this one also, where was the hole? Right there. So those are squash bugs that get in there, but um, I'm really excited because I'll be doing a lot of fall decorating with my natural pumpkins and some other elements. So I'm excited to share that with you here in the next few weeks. I should be having lots of good decorating videos for you. What is that? It's from Family Guy. Brian. Oh, there we go. I could not figure out. I did not went together. Oh my. You made that? Yeah, I made that. I'll bring this to the, the work. <laughs> this looks decent. This is cool. Yeah, keep that if you want. I made it. You made it, I know. In 2010. You're graduating here. Another thing to collect stuff in. <laughs> And I looked through some boxes of things that his dad had given him from when he was living at home through his elementary, middle school, and high school years. So that was good to get that done. Then I just filmed a thrift haul that's coming out on Friday. Uh, yeah, lots of good stuff. So nap time is precious time. And then when your husband's gone, it works. I don't always like doing stuff like this on Sundays, but my goodness, when you've got the time, I'm taking it. So It's too sticky. Ha <laughs> was that fun? Oh, it's now she's really liking it. Bounce, see bounce. <laughs> Our Sunday night supper is always popcorn on the stove top with a whirly pop and some sort of smoothie. I just did peach, mango, banana, and then I put almond milk in mine and uh, pea protein. And then in Nevaeh's we don't use pea protein and we use whole milk. So pretty good. I think I like the mixed berry one better. And then I normally put all butter on here and I use coconut oil instead. Not as good to melt coconut oil on it. I definitely like the butter flavor, but that's what we do every Sunday night. 